Welcome to another PhoneSavvy.com application review. Today we'll be reviewing ES File Explorer. The application looks like this on your Android device. Make sure you visit the Play Store and search for this application. I'm very excited to review this application because I feel that even with its popularity, it's an often overlooked application. You see File Explorer and you assume it's just another typical file management app, similar to the stock file manager app that comes on every Android device. But this application can do so much more with those files, such as sharing files with other other ES File Explorer users. So if you have a friend over, you guys can actually transfer music, pictures, videos, whatever you want between the devices with ease using this application. It's also an application manager. If you want to uninstall a bunch of applications that you have on your phone, without this application you have to go through those one at a time. Well this app allows you to uninstall a bunch at once and you can also back up those applications to your SD card right through the application itself. You can also manage files that are on your home computer from this application as well. There's no additional software to install on your home computer and it works both ways. You can manage your phone's files from your computer as well without having to get additional software on your computer. And it's completely customizable with different themes and colors and you can manage files on your network storage as well such as Dropbox, Google, Google Drive, SkyDrive and much more. Now let me show you how the application works. Let's go ahead and bring it up. The first thing I'm going to show you how to do is change the theme of this application to give it a whole different look and that's very easy to do. When you bring up the application you'll see this screen and you have the toolbar down at the bottom and if it's not there use the pinch option to get rid of or bring back the toolbar and then just slide from left to right and that will bring us to the fast access menu. Down at the bottom middle you have theme. Go ahead and select theme and it'll have the default theme checked. Go ahead and check classic. If this is your first time using this application, it'll go ahead and download the classic theme and then just go ahead and select it and it'll bring up all the editing options for your theme. We can set a different black background color. We can add a background image. We can set a different color for text and a folder style. For this edit, I'm going to change the background color. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that and then just touch around the circle, whatever color you want. And then go ahead and hit save. And I'm also going to change the folder style. Let's give us a different color. I'm going to go ahead and, by default it's blue, go ahead and select green or whatever color you want and hit save. And then we can hit the back button. And again, and we can see our new look. And it's very easy to go back to the default theme if you want. Just go back to our fast access screen, hit theme. And then select default theme. And then when we go back, it'll be back to the way it was. Now let's take a look at how to manage our folders and files. At the top is where you can choose the different storage place. If we go ahead and select here, we can see the different storage places that we have on our device. For this example, I'm going to select my external SD card. So let's explore this. I have five folders in my SD card. You may have more. Now managing and organizing is what we want to do from here. We can create new folders if we'd like. Just hit the plus button down at the bottom left corner. We can also delete folders and files. We can hide them or we can add them to favorites for quick access. Just hit the new button to add a new folder. And for this example, I'm going to add a folder called extras. And that new folder will appear. Now in extras I'm going to put the folders that I'm not going to use very often just to clean this up so if it builds up more I can get to my most commonly used folders a little quicker. So I'm going to move Navigator to it. If I press and hold that it will place a check mark on it but it will also allow me to put a check next to the other files that I want to move. Now I can touch and hold these three and drag to extras and then hit OK. So that cleaned those up. Now I have books, my DCIM, and extras. Now I'm going to show you how to move them to favorites. If you press and hold one of these, just hit the more option down at the bottom right corner and it has an option to add to favorites. And then hit OK. It will still keep that folder here but it does place a copy in your favorites for quick access. If we go back to our fast access menu, just slide to the left, we can go back to the top where favorites are and go ahead and select it and you can see I have my DCIM folder there. Now I want to show you how to hide folders. Let's say you don't just don't want to see the extras folder at all. Just go ahead and touch and hold it. 
That will select it and then hit the more option down at the bottom right corner. And it gives you an option to hide right here at the top. And now we cannot see it. If we want to restore it ever, just go back to our fast access menu. And we can go all the way down towards the bottom where it shows hide list. And it will show what we have in our hide list, which is my extras folder. I'm going to go ahead and restore that so that I can see it again in my SD card. Now I'm going to show you how to send files over to your friends that are connected to your same Wi-Fi network. First thing you want to do is find the file that you want to send to them. So for this example, I'm going to go to my pictures. And then I'm going to scroll down and find the file that I want to send. And while I'm here, I'll show you that you can change the view of your files as well when you open up a folder. If you select the view option right here, it does give you an option to change the size of the icons. You can also put it in list mode. And you can also sort it by these orders. So if I wanted to put it in small list mode, this is what it'll look like. So go ahead and play around with that and find the view that you like. But for this example, I'll leave it the way it is. And I'm going to find that file that I want to send. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to long press it. Now, normally when you long press it, you hit the more option. There's a bunch of options right there. But to send to someone else that has the ES File Manager app and they're connected to your Wi-Fi, we're going to long press it again. And this little option in the bottom left corner is there. We're going to drag that file to this. And then what it'll do is it will find the other devices that are connected to your Wi-Fi network. I'm going to go ahead and check that and then hit send. And then while I'm doing that, I'm going to bring up that device. And it pops up right here that we have a file coming in. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And then hit OK again and it will send over that file. And then when it's done, we can go ahead and view it. We're just going to go ahead and open that up. And there it is. Now let's take a look at how to manage files and folders on your computer and also from your computer to your phone. So at the top middle, you see that we're on the local option. If we go ahead and slide to the right, it's going to switch from local to LAN. If your computer at home is connected to your Wi-Fi, it'll be on this list here. You may have to hit the new option and enter in the details to find your PC. And for cloud and network, uh, storage. If we slide one more time to the right, we're going to move to cloud. And if we hit the new option here, this is where you can add the different cloud storage options such as Dropbox, SkyDrive, Google Drive, and the other ones listed. Just go ahead and select it and it will have you sign in with your username and password. Now if you want to manage your phone from your PC, you need to set up, if we slide to the from left to right down at the toolbar and get back to our fast access screen. And by the way, you can find pretty much anything from the fast access screen. So do spend a lot of time in here and explore this. There's too many details to go over in one at one time. So but for this example, I'm going to set up if we go under if we're under tools, we're going to go to remote manager right here select remote manager and then select turn on and it will give you a address to put in on your computer URL and that will allow you to access this phone from the computer so leave the switch on and when you're done just go ahead and turn off and that will turn off that option to manage your phone alright let's go back Now let's take a look at the application manager. If we go back to our fast access screen, under the tools option you have app manager. If we go ahead and select that, that will bring up a list of our applications. And like I said earlier, what I really like about this app is it allows us to uninstall multiple apps and manage our apps all in one from this application. And I can uninstall multiple apps at a time. If I lo long press one of the apps, it'll put a check mark by it. 
and I can go ahead and put a check mark by as many as we, I want and then just hit the uninstall option. So for this example, I have two apps checked. I'm gonna uninstall them and it'll have us hit okay for each and they will be gone. And there's a lot of things to discover with this application. If you go into the fast access screen, just really spend some time in here and you'll learn a lot about this application and all the things that you can do. For example, it's got a net manager. You can actually connect to a, net, a Wi Fi network right from this application and not using your phone's settings. The SD card analyst, this will give you a breakdown of the memory on your device. It's got your download manager, app manager, and then all the different libraries. It also has the Windows option here where you can manage your open windows and close them. And one more thing I want to show you is the search option. Right here you have search and this will allow you to find anything on this application just by searching for it. So if you type in a few letters it'll bring up the files and folders that has that sequence in it and you can quickly find whatever you're looking for. And that's why it's one of our featured apps of the month. It's the all-in-one application must have for any Android device. That's the ES File Explorer. Make sure you recommend it to your friends and download it. And also visit phonesavvy.com to find more great applications like this that you can get on your Android device.